I know you've seen a million videos before about Call of Duty's dead, Call of Duty's dying, I quit Call of Duty, but this video is actual factual. The game itself, Call of Duty, is still going to have people playing it. It's not dying as far as a player base goes. However, it is getting less and less every year and eventually the game will die. But when I mean Call of Duty is dead, Call of Duty is done, I'm talking about the actual game that everybody who's watching this video knows and loves. Actual Call of Duty. Military, fast-paced, arcade shooter is dead. Call of Duty now and going forward is Fortnite brain rot, microtransaction, bullshit, skill-based matchmaking manipulated, a game that is made for Gen Z young kids who want to use their parents' credit card to buy absolutely stupid, ridiculous, bullshit skins and microtransactions. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, this is Call of Duty? Is this Fortnite now? Is, is this Fortnite creator mode? Someone created a Call of Duty Fortnite game? No, that's an actual skin. Unicorns. Unicorn bundles. Absolute just nonsense shit. You wonder why the actual game itself sucks? Because they're putting all their emphasis and time into that trash. We're literally supposed to be playing a military first person shooter based on the Cold War and we're playing lasers and unicorns. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Now, another thing too, before I go any further, I want to get to the point of this right here as well. How hypocritical, how brain dead, and how pathetic the people who are making this game are. Chat bans in this game are ridiculous. If you swear too much, you will get banned. You will get chat banned. I'm banned because I said too many naughty words. Because swearing is bad and your naughty words may hurt my feelings. But these developers don't mind promoting drug use to rather an obvious young demographic. I don't care if the game's 18 plus. No one's buying this horse shit, horrible, cringy ass, brain rot, microtransaction skins like that unicorn. But no, it's cool to promote drug use. Drug use, cool. Bad words, not cool. Is that crazy or not? Like I said, the game, the player base is still going on, but Call of Duty as we know it, it's alpha male elite game and stud muffin athletes, balls deep, only halfway in, it's dead for people like me and you. It's done. If you're enjoying that kind of content, that's cool, man. I ain't gonna judge you. Just go play in fucking traffic and get hit by a car, you dork. Now, I don't mean to be a misogynistic prick here, but I wanna say this wholeheartedly because the evidence before me is going to back up the claim I'm about to make right now in the statement and how my feelings are about a certain situation occurring in the world. So I'm sorry if I upset someone's feelings or people watching this, because I know last time I said this, people from Activision and whatnot got all butthurt and tried to flag my video. I think the biggest mistake of the modern generation of the 21st century of the Western world, the biggest mistake anyone did was allowing women to be empowered and allowing them to vote and giving them jobs in the workplace. I'm not even joking about that because you see what happens when you have a bunch of women working at a Call of Duty studio. These are the official people working on Black Ops 6 and then you wonder why things are the way they are. You wonder why if you say 90 words, we're going to ban you. But the next thing we're doing is we're putting Call of Duty skins in the game which promote drug use because listen, women are emotional morons who don't have any common sense. If you've ever had a relationship with a woman, try having an argument with her and see how well that works out for you. It's like arguing with a puppy dog. There's no logic involved. It's all just just emotions and no common sense and then you got to give them a hug because they start crying it's absolutely just waste your time go argue with a wall you'll be better off and another thing too not to get too political but just also to back up my point if women didn't vote 99 percent of all these liberal morons who are in power would never actually win joe biden would have got his ass kicked the first time even though they tried to cheat the election boom get roasted get mad out there people oh just the conspiracy theories this time around trump would have won by a huge landslide as well because women are allowed to vote and they vote with emotion stupidity and they shouldn't be allowed allowed to vote. I mean that too. Get mad out there, feminists. I love women. I protect them. I take care of them. I'm out here not letting anyone want to hurt them and not that. I'm just saying they don't have a place in society.
society when it comes to voting and having any positions of power or any kind of authority on anything. Because look what they do. They just ruin everything. Ruin Disney. Ruin video games. Ruin development studios. Ruin Netflix. Ruin the NPR. Ruin everything that they touch because they're morons, guys. Come on. Now, let me touch on something as well, and that is this, and that is that I do not think that the reality we're in, that even the reality you see online by Call of Duty shills or so-called Call of Duty fanboys, are the reality of the people who are playing this game, because they can't be, because every time this type of stuff comes up or gets showcased on Twitter or gets showcased on any other social media or even on YouTube is like this, it is met with overwhelming negativity and opposition. This video will do very well. 99% of the comments are going to agree with my video. When you go to social medias and the official Call of Duty accounts posting this crap 99% of all the comments underneath these posts are negative towards this trash however they're selling billions of dollars of these microtransactions which leads me to believe that the people who are buying these things the people this game and this shit is made for are definitely morons who are too stupid to figure out how to get access to the internet <laughs> because who else would be buying this trash if you buy this and you think this is cool once again go play in traffic with the blindfold on to hope that you get run over by a goddamn garbage truck you ttv sweaty ass dork it's just getting ridiculous at this point it's very clear that this is where all their resources are going instead of the actual game itself you wonder why the game is in such a horrible state when it comes to the actual core mechanisms of the game it's because a bunch of liberal dumb women are making this game, making decisions, and a bunch of beta male, no chinned, Joe Biden supporting, 15 boosted, still wearing a mask, drinking soy lattes, are too big of a group of wimps to put their foot down because they don't want to rock the boat because you know what? Real men don't question authority. Real men don't stand up. Real men sit down when they pee. Boom roasted i don't mean to bag on liberals but this is who is making this game and it's just very obvious to people like myself how insane and how hypocritical and just lack of logic most of these people actually have and it's crazy how brain dead and brainwashed they have been and because i'm talking disparagingly about the left doesn't mean i'm co-signing for the right because there's lots of morons on the right but the overwhelming majority of people on the left now really are out to lunch because this game call of duty will have skins like i said that promote weird stuff like drug use but then at the same breath you get banned for saying bad words and talking trash to people that doesn't make any sense promoting drug use is exponentially worse than saying bad words on top of that they put skins in the game where they have like Nicki minaj and other rappers who have been charged for heinous crimes who have admitted to committing heinous crimes now not to get like an old man here ranting at a cloud but then just being actually critical here if you were a parent and your kid was looking up to somebody he's not going to be the people like snoop dogg or be people like Nicki Minaj and the stuff that they promote. You wouldn't want your kid growing up to be that type of person. Those people are actual pieces of shit. I don't care if they're famous rappers and they're rich, but these games promote the stupidest stuff the most cringiest stuff, but at the same time, punish people for things that really aren't important, like, oh no, swearing. We well, you know, once there goes, it's an 18 plus game, so all this stuff is fine because it's supposed to be for adults. Okay, that's cool. I totally agree with you. It's an 18 plus game. Okay, that's fine. Then let's promote the drug and the drug dealers and gangsters and pimps. Let's promote them. Fine, it's 18 plus. We're all adults here. We should be able to make decisions for ourselves. Totally agree with that. So then let's not ban people for swearing then as well and act like we're children out here who can't deal with naughty words. Thank you. I'm the ghost of Vate. Get wrecked, you fucking dorks. Call of Duty's dead. The franchise is done. If you support this game still, you're a loser. End of discussion. End of the video. Stay black. Question authority. And don't let the hockey cracker tell any shape shifters. Bell, the movie starts, bring Kendall, seven limits, and just touches, trying to seven up, even course, I'll just let me think. I'll just hold the helix towards the father's gate. White man, bring you down.